Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel Karibu Fine Art and I'm Priya, the artist behind karibufineart.com That's my website, please go and visit it and also visit my Instagram and Facebook page and today we are going to learn how to paint this African zebra Zebras are only found in Africa Today I started with a basic sketch of zebra. Uh, this reference picture has been taken by my cousin in Africa uh, and uh, uh, I have used a transfer paper and a carbon paper to uh, draw this image on this paper. Uh, excuse me guys for the bad angle with this uh, tutorial um, I realized it really really early and uh, I have improved on the angle in next like one minute uh, you will be seeing much better angle uh, once I have put the drawing in um, I'm just now using normal HB mechanical pencil it's a paper made mechanical pencil and uh, 0.5 mm uh, lead uh, HP lead and I'm just pressing little hard for the darker portions and light for the uh, lighter portions uh, I prefer using HP pencil to block the initial layers uh, so that I can erase uh, whenever I go wrong because it's easy to erase HP more than uh, the mm, higher uh, ranges of H or B pencils so if if I start with like really dark pencil for example 8B I don't think I'll be able to come back to um, uh, light or I'll be able to erase it so that's why I just start with HB and then uh, I uh, build up la like la layers on it on top of it um, another tool I've used for uh, this tutorial is uh, this mono tombow uh, eraser uh, which is a must to have uh, for any kind of colored pencil sketches or graphite drawings uh, I just got it from the city Eckersley Art Studio you can find it anywhere online it's readily available uh, I'll put the link to all the tools I'm using throughout this video in the description below um, now I have switched to this uh, Mars Lumograph uh, black pencil uh, by Stedler this pencil is 8B and it gives me very very dark uh, dark uh, areas. I can use it for very very dark areas. So the stripes I wanted really dark, jet black, so I have preferred using 8B for those areas. For this complete uh, sketch to get uh, to finish this complete sketch, I must have taken around 3 to 4 hours. Um, and um, I rushed through it a little bit but yeah I could have been much uh, slower than this Once I block in uh, all the dark portions and the stripes using this pencil, um, I'll go back uh, to the facial areas and some of the other areas um, and uh, uh, I'll try to darken it more and more as you can see now. When putting this uh, uh, 8B, when using 8B, um, uh, I'm being very careful when it comes to the highlighted portions so whenever I'll be going on the highlighted portions uh, such as the top part of the back of this uh, zebra I'm being very careful and I'm not blocking the entire stripes uh, using this pencil and I'm leaving the top areas a uh, little bit as it is or shading it uh, just 
a little not completely not blocking the complete stripe as black because i want to show that right is light is reflecting on the back of the zebra uh, to get that realism and to get that 3d effect you have to be extremely careful and you have to constantly uh, keep looking at the reference picture uh, another thing with the uh, graphite uh, sketches or drawings is when you have your reference picture you have to make sure you uh, edit it and make it black and white as well as you hype up the contrast really well um, so that it's easy for you to judge the values better otherwise it becomes little tricky and the uh, your final <coughs> sketch or artwork ends up being really flat and not uh, realistic now i'm going uh, over all the black portions uh, on the face uh, the tricky part with face was because the object was so small uh, the face of the zebra was so small uh, it was getting really difficult for me to keep these pencils sharpened and get the fine fine details in there so i had to go back and forth with them with my mono tumbler eraser and i used a blade to sharpen the eraser tip and uh, i cleared a lot of portions and made it white and then went over it again and again so to to have like really accurate um, uh, drawing for the facial portion i had to use the eraser a lot and i had to sharpen all the pencils a lot with mechanical pencils that's not the case like you can put the details very easily without worrying about sharpening or anything for the eye i haven't paid um, uh, much attention or I haven't put a lot of work into it but still I had to be careful um, that I don't lose the values so for the uh, ears and the eyes and the mouth portion I had to be pretty careful um, uh, with like judging the values and darks and lights Uh, what I have done for this uh, sketch uh, for the background uh, I have used because the background was really blurry so for most of the background what I have used is I have these graphite blocks so I have made powder out of it and I have used a brush and that powder to block some of the portions of the background which are blurry and uh, far uh, in the background but for the portions which are closer to the viewer like the bottom portion of it I have again used some of my pencils and um, created more details and it, it looks like it's a barren land it's a very dry stony land so that's the effect I wanted to give uh, to the sketch um, and once I block in the complete background and the complete zebra for the um, highlighted uh, hair or mane I don't know what you call it exactly uh, for zebra's mane or hair uh, on its neck <coughs> the straight hair you have for that I have blocked in the complete background and then used this mono tombo eraser uh, sharpened eraser and uh, 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 and then used that one to put the hair uh, the white portions and the highlights of the hair as you can see in the final image clearly So guys, we have almost come to an end of this tutorial. If you have really liked it and enjoyed watching this tutorial, uh, please subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely for free. Uh, and like my uh, videos and share it with all your friends who are interested in this kind of uh, tutorials and who are interested to learn more and more about uh, color painting sketching, graphite sketching, and uh, acrylic paints, oil paintings, a lot of different kind of media. And from uh, next week, I'm going to make the tr new trailer, which is crisp and short, and the videos are going to be much more interesting. So please do visit every Thursday my channel, and uh, see you again on next Thursday. Bye-bye.